Hey guys, I know it's been a long time again. A lot of things have been going on. Um, have an angry tooth. Uh, it's been that way for about oh, four weeks now. The uh, earliest the dentist could fit me in was the 23rd of December, so, so I'm kind of sucking right now, you know. Uh, but uh, the, the tooth really hasn't been raging that much for the past week. But there have been other things. There's uh, Cataclysm came out, so I was going nuts with that. I've been doing some rendering, that kind of thing. And, um, you know, this is just going to be, uh, well, not for me fast, but it's going to be a fast update. Uh, we got hit really hard here, and we're about to get hit again. This is the, the third... Anyway, this is the third year in a row we've been uh, hit with very cold weather in December. Uh, quite unexpected this time and uh, next Monday the forecast low is going to be 24 degrees I'm in zone 9 24 degrees um, you know what the hell <laughs> I'm ready to move to Costa Rica I swear to god anyway here we go um, if you remember right over here I had I had a tomato right here and I had some green peppers and they were doing really well and then this this friggin weather hit last week they're both dead gone I just cleared them out uh, I did manage to have a pepper about the size of a golf ball uh, I was about half done so I pulled it inside I'm gonna pull some seeds out of there don't know how that's gonna work out um, even this perennial down here I lost even though I covered it um, that's the thing around here. If you get a hard freeze or a frost warning, really didn't have any frost this past week, which is a very good thing. We cover everything with sheets. Um, don't cover stuff with plastic. If you're new to the area and you're told to cover your plants, please do not cover with plastic. You're going to burn them and they're not going to be able to breathe. The, these guys have, have been happier. <laughs> but they weathered quite well the strawberries I did not cover at all uh, they're, they're pretty hardy here's Papa and I did cover him interesting thing to note here is with aloe plants they they can survive a couple of uh, freezes and whatnot um, last year we had about three weeks straight of very very low temps and I lost half of my aloe they just they can't they can't stand an extended period of that but what I want to show you here was quite incredible and I did cover this up the zinnias are pretty much done and yeah you know I didn't really get any feedback I was asking about what this plant was yeah it is a blanket flower but man I don't know if you can get the scale on this this thing is friggin huge okay I'm afraid to move it but what happened here was I covered this and it had this nice long stalk here up to a beautiful flower. Uh, the, the stalk got a little spongy. But this this is it here. It's, it's weak. Uh, it's probably going to die off. But I have a couple more here. See, this is just flopping in the wind. I'm going to tie it up, but I don't think it's going to make it. But look at this friggin' plant. Look at this thing. I was not expecting this. I have a bud here. Still doing well. I have another one right here. So they're going to pop in about a month if, if the friggin' weather doesn't kill them all off. But look at this thing. This was... I, this was not my understanding of what a blank of flowers is supposed to be. But the other two... I've just been sitting around. It's been hit a little bit. You know, I mean, over here, I had, um, well, they died off. I let them die off anyway. They were pretty much done. Marigolds. So I have my two spider plants. They're a little stressed. They're not too bad. This zinnia, which has been taking a long time to pop, it's pretty much done. Now what I did here, all of this stuff I moved 
into the laundry room here. And uh, it's really not much warmer, but at least it'll stay well above freezing. So yeah, I moved all of these guys in. You know, they're rather small. And the rose bush is actually doing really well. I don't know if it's gonna get past it's a I'm gonna call it a dwarf stage because it, it's a mini rose bush and of course my salvia this salvia over here you know I just moved it 10 15 minutes ago it's already half here but um it spent four days inside and if you know me personally uh, I'm nocturnal and well we're in the middle of apartment anyway so we really don't get a lot of sunlight in there so very hard to grow house plants. We can't even really keep anything on the sill because the sill is uh, very small. Uh, it's not very wide at all. But I moved my two big spider plants down here so that I could cover them. And the philodendron is actually still kicking. Um, it, it's not been doing well to my liking, but it really needs a bigger pot. I mean, look, look at the size of this pot right you know not very big at all but it's chugging along so I just love philodendrons and I love spiders that are so easy and you know I don't know I mean my, my spiders they get shoots on them all the time you know like these little guys here and then they bloom and stuff they're just really they're really neat they're really easy um yeah I, had, I bought a couple of poinsettias here this one's a little, um, this one's a little anemic. The uh, hardier one is outside, but I'm gonna bring both of these guys outside. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna repot them or not, because I'm gonna end up moving everything Sunday night again. It's Thursday, and look at that. It's not even 60 out. It's been like this all freaking week. It's been awful. So, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna. Well, let's see. Maybe I. Yeah, let me take you out front. And it's gonna go real dark here because I like to keep our windows drawn. what I have left out front. And some hens and chickens. Um, you know, they really proliferate. <laughs> I've given a lot of the stuff away to neighbors, and there's one of the two plants that were originally left behind here when I moved in. I have some vinca. I did not cover it. Didn't need to be covered. Still doing okay. But uh, this coleus, I have two coleus here. They're monsters right now. And uh, I did have to move them inside. But that's that's about it. But, uh, it's already being a very, very harsh winter, so I'm gonna sign off here.